So I'm showing you a custom visual report of LinkedIn ads that will guarantee an improved ROI. And the, I, I can say that confidently because it's showing you data that you can't see inside LinkedIn. So for example, when I look at a LinkedIn campaign and let's see, I have you know five or six different industries grouped inside of this one campaign, it's really, really hard to see uh, you know how each industry is doing company size so the old way of fixing this or you know even seeing the data would be to micro segment your campaigns so you'd have a marketing campaign you'd have a financial services campaign a legal services campaign a software campaign and then you know you'd split the spend and you'd see how they're all doing in, against each other well We've pulled out the data of LinkedIn into a custom built agency analytics dashboard that we use for our clients to kind of analyze the results. And let me show you, uh, that's just this month. Let's go back to, uh, let's just pull it in. So this is an ad account that's been going since September of last year. So I can pull out the conversions. And right now I'm looking at the demographics industry and I can see um, how many conversions we're getting, but more importantly, the breakdown of cost per conversion, cost per click, and click-through rate by industry. So I can see that, yes, the majority of my leads are coming from marketing um, industry. And actually, I like to sort this by cost so that I can see the biggest opportunity uh, if I don't break this. So because a lot of times you'll see, sometimes you'll see a pocket in here where you have a decent amount of spend with no results to show for it, and it's an easy win when you can shut those off and funnel your money somewhere else. So here, the majority of my spend is going to marketing agencies, and we're getting conversions, which for us is a booked call, a booked meeting, uh, for 320 per. So I will, I will preface this by saying I'm actually okay getting leads in this industry at a higher um, rate or a higher cost per conversion, because we allow white labeling of our services to marketing agencies. So one sale could easily turn into three, four, or five new clients for us. So I would actually pay a lot more for a booked call from this industry. So I'm, I'm okay with them being more expensive. But these other ones, like for instance, this computer software, um, we're getting $334 cost per booked call, where we're getting $169 booked calls for financial services. And so this is interesting because one of the things is you don't necessarily know how everyone is classifying their own company inside of LinkedIn. So you're not really sure if computer software, internet, um, there's, there's a couple of very similarly classed information services. Um, there's a, a lot of ones that are grouped together and you're not really sure what's what or which one you're going to have more traction with. So you end up selecting like three or four of them. Um, so being able to see the breakdown here is pretty massive. Uh, so I would say based on this data, I would probably turn this one off. I'd probably turn, you know, we have money hitting nonprofit. Uh, so I would say over 300, if it's not marketing and advertising for a booked meeting for us is probably a little too much. So this is cutting it pretty close. I would probably turn this one off because we have other options. I would turn nonprofit um, off. And then look at here. So we have $1,300 that hit management consulting group and have not ever had a lead from it. Same with staffing and recruiting, same with insurance. Um, whereas you can see down here, there might be some areas of opportunity where we had some money hit professional training and coaching and higher ed. And we've had multiple booked calls for pretty minimal spend, less than $1,000 hit this group. And yet we've booked seven meetings from that at a cost per, you know, call of $112 or $60 here. Um, so this might be something where we weren't intentionally targeting them, but they got swept up in our, in our group somehow. But now we're seeing that that could be a good opportunity. And it's the same with company size where we can look at our overall spend and we can see exactly uh, what companies we're spending the most at and where we're getting the best call booking. So you might, you might think that you serve companies from one to 500 or any company above 50, but when you start pulling out and looking at the data, there's very clear patterns of where you have more traction and where you have worse traction. Uh, so for us, again, the booked calls, 200 to 500, we've done multiple experiments and you know maybe we don't quite have the brand authority yet, or maybe that's just a higher priced you know, demographic 
And just like the marketing agency, we'd gladly pay more for a, a booked call with this group. And I, I would say that's the case. I would take a $350 booked call with companies from 200 to 500 and I'd probably be okay and expect to pay less for a company size two to 10, one. Um, and so these are online. And then here's the opportunities that I'm seeing. We've spent 3000 on this group here, 500 to 5,000 essentially, and had only a couple booked calls. Um, this actually looks like an opportunity. 10,000 10, plus we hit and get $340 booked calls. And again, I would say I would pay a premium for that group. Um, and we can go by country, we can go by seniority, uh, and you can look at conversion rates and cost per uh, conversions by each one of those. So I would say if you're running LinkedIn ads, um, or if, yeah, if you're a campaign manager, or if you're a company, this is vital information. Because the one thing that I realize by leveraging this is that not only can I run better campaigns for my clients, but I'm actually able to be like a partner to them and give them information about their business that maybe they didn't easily have access to, like knowing what company size they're currently getting more traction with, um, or job functions, or seniority levels, and industry. So something like this is actually really, really helpful, and uh, definitely something for you guys to look into.